the cogitating ceviche presence, Aldous Huxley, a satirist's vision through the looking glass of history. Honoring the overlooked satirists and thinkers who altered our perspectives, number 18 by Conrad Hannon. Narration by Amazon Polly. Preface. Welcome to the 18th installment of our series, Honoring the Overlooked Satirists and Thinkers Who Altered Our Perspectives. This series seeks to shine a light on those intellectual giants whose contributions have profoundly influenced our understanding of society, culture, and the human condition, yet who may not always occupy the forefront of public consciousness. These are the visionaries who, through their incisive wit and penetrating insights, have challenged us to view the world through a different lens, questioning the status quo and inspiring us to think more deeply about the values and structures that govern our lives. In this edition, we turn our attention to Aldous Huxley, a figure whose literary and intellectual endeavors have left an indelible mark on the 20th century and beyond. While Huxley is perhaps best known for his dystopian masterpiece, Brave New World, his body of work encompasses a far broader range of interests and ideas, from satirical novels and insightful essays to explorations of mysticism and the potential of human consciousness. Huxley's unique blend of satire, philosophy, and speculative fiction not only entertained but also provoked thought, challenged assumptions, and offered visionary perspectives on the possibilities and pitfalls of human advancement. This volume seeks not just to celebrate Huxley's contributions as a writer, but to acknowledge his role as a seminal thinker, one who dared to confront the pressing issues of his time and to imagine alternative paths forward. Through his reflections on technology, society, and the quest for meaning, Huxley emerges as a guide for our own times, offering wisdom and caution as we navigate the complexities of the modern world. As we delve into the life, works, and legacy of Aldous Huxley, we invite you to join us in a journey of discovery and reflection. It is our hope that this exploration will not only honor the memory of a remarkable satirist and thinker, but also inspire a deeper engagement with the challenges and opportunities that define our own era. In the spirit of intellectual exploration and recognition, let us embark on this 18th chapter of our series, paying homage to Aldous Huxley, a true luminary whose visions and ideas continue to illuminate the paths of inquiry, creativity, and resistance in an increasingly complex world. Conrad Hannon Introduction In the constellation of 20th century literary luminaries, Aldous Huxley's star burns with a peculiar brilliance. This quintessential figure, a novelist, philosopher, and sharp-eyed social commentator, navigated the turbulent currents of his era with an agility that belied a deep-seated concern for humanity's trajectory. Born into the eminent Huxley family, whose intellectual achievements were as varied as they were significant, Aldous was uniquely positioned to observe the follies and foibles of society from a vantage point enriched by a legacy of scientific and literary inquiry. Yet, it was not merely his birthright that destined him for a role of such profound cultural and philosophical influence. Rather, it was his relentless pursuit of truth, unfettered by convention and unswayed by dogma, that distinguished his contribution to literature and thought. Huxley's oeuvre, marked by a distinctive blend of irony and insight, bridges the tangible realities of the twentieth century and the speculative possibilities of futures yet unfolded. His keen wit, coupled with a satirist's delight in the absurdities of societal norms, renders his work simultaneously timeless and eerily prescient. The very essence of Huxley's craft, a marriage of erudite skepticism and speculative foresight, encapsulates the paradox of a man deeply embedded in the fabric of his times, yet profoundly skeptical of its values and trajectories. As we embark on a journey through the life and legacy of Aldous Huxley, we find ourselves in the company of a mind both a product of its time and a prescient critic of ages to come. This duality imbues his work with lasting relevance and enduring intrigue. Early Life and Formative Years Aldous Huxley's journey into the literary cosmos began in the cradle of an illustrious family, steeped in the intellectual ferment of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His lineage, distinguished by scientific and literary achievement, provided a fertile ground for the seeds of curiosity and intellectual ambition. Yet, Huxley's early life was not merely a tale of scholarly privilege, but also a narrative shaped by profound personal challenges that would profoundly influence his worldview and literary output. The young Aldous faced a crucible of hardship early on, most notably marked by the death of his mother, Julia Arnold Huxley, to cancer when he was just fourteen. 
this loss thrust him into a world where the certainties of childhood were abruptly replaced by the complexities of grief and the responsibilities of maturity. Adding to his trials, Huxley was afflicted with keratitis punctata, a painful condition that led to temporary blindness during his teenage years. This period of forced introspection and isolation from the visual world sharpened his inner vision, imbuing him with a depth of perception and a profound empathy that would resonate throughout his literary work. Huxley's intellectual appetite remained undiminished despite these challenges, or perhaps because of them. Educated first at Eton and then at Oxford, he was primed for a career in academia, following in the footsteps of his esteemed forebears. Yet, the traditional scholarly path could not contain Huxley's boundless curiosity and creative energy. At Oxford, he delved into the classics, English literature, and philosophy while nurturing a burgeoning interest in writing that would soon eclipse his academic pursuits. This pivot from academia to the world of letters marked the beginning of Huxley's career as a writer. Freed from the constraints of conventional scholarship, he embarked on a literary voyage exploring the depths of human consciousness, the follies of societal norms, and the boundless possibilities of speculative fiction. Huxley's early experiences, his distinguished family background, personal adversities, and rigorous education thus served as the crucible from which his unique literary voice was forged, setting the stage for a body of work that would challenge, entertain, and provoke generations of readers. Literary Ascendancy Aldous Huxley's ascent to literary prominence was as unorthodox as the man himself. The seeds of his future masterpieces were sown in the fertile yet disillusioned soil of post-World War I Europe, a landscape marked by a collective questioning of the values and certainties that had led to such catastrophic loss. It was against this backdrop that Huxley penned his early satirical works, Chrome Yellow and Antic Hay, which served not only as incisive commentaries on the societal disillusionment of his time, but also as precursors to his later more expansive critiques of human folly and societal decay. Chrome Yellow, Huxley's debut novel, unfolds within the microcosm of an English country house, where intellectuals and eccentrics gather, ostensibly to muse upon art and life. Yet, beneath the veneer of wit and conversation, Huxley lays bare the vacuity and aimlessness of the post-war generation, skewering the pretensions of the literary and artistic elite with a humorous and biting precision. Similarly, Antic Hay delves into the lives of London's aimless bohemians, exploring themes of existential despair and the search for meaning in a world seemingly devoid of it. Together, these works capture the zeitgeist of an era, offering a satirical glimpse into the disillusionment and questioning that followed the war to end all wars. However, Brave New World, 1932, would cement Huxley's place in the annals of literary history. With this magnum opus, Huxley ventured beyond the satirical into the prophetic, envisioning a future where humanity, in its quest for stability and happiness, has surrendered to the yoke of technological control and genetic manipulation. In this dystopian world, individuality is sacrificed on the altar of efficiency, and human beings are commodified, bred, and conditioned to fulfill predetermined roles within a rigidly hierarchical society. The use of the drug Soma to pacify and control the population serves as a chilling metaphor for the dangers of escapism in the face of uncomfortable truths. At the heart of Brave New World, is Huxley's critique of a society that has traded freedom for comfort and human essence for technological efficiency. Through the eyes of his characters, most notably John the Savage, who views this brave new world from an outsider, Huxley questions the value of happiness bought at the price of individuality and free will. The novel stands as a stark warning against the dehumanizing potential of technological advancement unchecked by ethical consideration, a theme that remains eerily relevant in the contemporary digital age. Huxley's literary ascendance through these early works and Brave New World reveals a writer grappling with the profound questions of his time, yet always with an eye to the future. His satirical commentaries on post-World War I disillusionment evolved into a nuanced exploration of the human condition under the specter of technological domination, marking him as one of the most prescient voices of the 20th century. Philosophical and Spiritual Evolution In the aftermath of World War II, a discernible shift began to take shape in Aldous Huxley's literary and intellectual pursuits. 
If his earlier works were characterized by satirical scrutiny of societal norms and the potential perils of unchecked technological advancement, his post-war oeuvre marked a turn towards the inner landscapes of human consciousness, spirituality, and the quest for meaning beyond the material. This phase of Huxley's career is typified by a profound engagement with themes of human potential, mysticism, and the exploration of states of consciousness, as evidenced in seminal works like The Perennial Philosophy and Island. The Perennial Philosophy, 1945, represents a pivotal moment in Huxley's philosophical evolution. In this work, he delves into the mystical core of the world's major religions, proposing that at the heart of these diverse traditions lies a universal truth concerning the nature of reality and the potential for human beings to experience a profound connection with the divine. Huxley's exploration of mysticism in this text reflects his growing conviction that the answers to the era's existential uncertainties lay not in external technological advancements, but in a deeper understanding and transformation of the self. This inward turn was further expressed in Island, 1962, Huxley's utopian counterpoint to the dystopian vision of Brave New World. Here, he imagines a society on the fictional island of Pulla, where an ideal fusion of science and spirituality has been achieved, offering a blueprint for human flourishing. Island embodies Huxley's mature vision of what a society oriented toward realizing human potential grounded in ecological sustainability and spiritual awakening might look like. Integral to Huxley's exploration of human consciousness was his pioneering work with psychedelics, most famously chronicled in The Doors of Perception, 1954. In this groundbreaking essay, Huxley recounts his experiences with mescaline, describing the profound alterations in perception and awareness it induced. His detailed account of the experience and his reflections on its implications for understanding the mind and its capacities were instrumental in initiating a wider public discourse on the potential of psychedelics to catalyze spiritual insight and personal transformation. Huxley's foray into the world of psychedelics was not merely a matter of personal exploration, but part of a broader inquiry into the limits of human consciousness and how it might be expanded or altered to transcend ordinary, everyday reality. Through his work, he posited that such substances could offer a means of escaping the confines of the ego and societal conditioning, opening up avenues for experiencing a more profound connection to the world and others. Huxley's later work's philosophical and spiritual evolution represents a significant departure from his earlier preoccupations, signaling a shift from external critique to internal inquiry. By advocating for integrating spirituality and science, and exploring the potential of altered states of consciousness, Huxley contributed to a new understanding of what it means to be human in a rapidly changing world. His journey into the realms of mysticism and psychedelics laid the groundwork for future generations to explore the intersections between consciousness, spirituality, and human potential, marking him as a visionary thinker whose ideas continue to resonate and inspire. Huxley's Narrative Voice and Intellectual Legacy Aldous Huxley's literary voice is a distinct amalgamation of erudition, wit, and a prescient ability to forecast societal trends while maintaining an air of philosophical inquiry rather than descending into dogmatism. This unique narrative style, which deftly navigates between satire and solemnity, allows his work to transcend the temporal confines of its creation, speaking to both the specific anxieties of the 20th century and the enduring questions of the human condition. Huxley's prose is marked by an encyclopedic knowledge that spans a myriad of disciplines, from literature and philosophy to science and religion. Yet, his application of this knowledge, wielded with a sharp wit and a keen eye for the absurd, distinguishes his narrative voice. Huxley invites his readers into a space of reflection, challenging them to question the unchecked societal norms and technological advancements that threaten to undermine humanity's essence. In works such as Brave New World and Island, he employs a narrative approach that is intellectually rigorous and imaginatively expansive, allowing him to explore dystopian and utopian visions with equal finesse. Far from adopting a tone of moral superiority or didacticism, Huxley's writing is characterized by its openness to question and skepticism of easy answers. This reflective stance and a refusal to succumb to dogmatic conclusions render his work profoundly engaging and intellectually stimulating. Huxley understood the complexity of human nature and the challenges of navigating a rapidly changing world, 
themes that he approached with a nuanced blend of caution and hope. Beyond his novels, Huxley's essays stand as a testament to the breadth of his intellectual curiosity and his significant contribution to public discourse. His essays cover an astonishing range of topics, from the deeply personal to the broadly societal, reflecting his enduring interest in the intersections between individual experience and collective realities. In pieces that ponder the future of democracy, the role of technology in society, or the importance of artistic expression, Huxley demonstrates a remarkable ability to synthesize complex ideas and present them in a manner that is both accessible and thought-provoking. The diversity of Huxley's essays underscores his legacy as a thinker deeply engaged with the pressing issues of his time and ours. Whether addressing the dangers of environmental degradation, the potential of psychedelics to expand human consciousness, or the philosophical implications of technological advancement, Huxley's work remains a vital part of the intellectual landscape. His essays contribute to a broad spectrum of discussions and exemplify the public intellectual's role in fostering a more informed and reflective society. Aldous Huxley's narrative voice and intellectual legacy endure as a beacon for those who navigate the complexities of the modern world. His erudite yet accessible style, prophetic insight, and commitment to exploring the depth of human experience cement his status as one of the most influential writers and thinkers of the 20th century. Through his novels and essays, Huxley continues to challenge, enlighten, and inspire readers, offering a perspective that is as relevant today as it was during his lifetime. Enduring Relevance and Legacy In an era where the digital domain pervades nearly every facet of human life, Aldous Huxley's cautionary tales of technological tyranny and the erosion of individuality echo with a prescience that is both uncanny and unsettling. The societal landscapes he painted, marked by an omnipresent surveillance state, the commodification of human experiences, and a pervasive escapism facilitated by technology, seem not so much speculative as they do a mirror to our current reality. Huxley's foresight into the consequences of surrendering too much of our lives to technological control speaks directly to the anxieties of the 21st century, making his work relevant and essential reading. Huxley's warnings about the potential for technology to dehumanize and control society resonate profoundly in today's context, where social media algorithms dictate the flow of information and virtual realities increasingly substitute for genuine human connection. The parallels between the soma-induced bliss of Brave New World and our contemporary reliance on digital distractions to navigate or escape reality are stark. Huxley's dystopian vision serves as a poignant reminder of the need for critical engagement with technology, urging a balance that preserves human autonomy and fosters genuine relationships. Moreover, Huxley's legacy extends beyond his cautionary stance on technology to encompass a broader critique of societal trends, including the erosion of democratic values, the manipulation of truth, and the threat of environmental degradation. His work encourages a vigilant, informed, and proactive approach to these challenges, advocating for preserving individual freedoms in the face of conformity and control. Arguably, the enduring relevance of Huxley's thought lies in his critique of the follies and dangers of his time and his visionary anticipation of future dilemmas. Huxley was not content merely to warn. He sought to envision alternatives, as illustrated by his later work's exploration of spirituality, human potential, and ecological harmony. His balanced view of technology, not as a foe but as a tool that, if wielded wisely, could enhance human well-being, offers a nuanced perspective that is particularly pertinent in an age where technological advancements hold immense promise yet pose significant risks. Aldous Huxley's intellectual legacy is that of a luminary who not only dissected the critical issues of his era, but also illuminated the paths that future generations might take. His work invites ongoing dialogue about the direction of human progress, the ethical use of technology, and the preservation of the core values that make us distinctly human. In a world grappling with rapid technological change, environmental crises, and shifts in the social and political landscape, Huxley's voice remains a guiding light, urging us to question, seek meaning, and strive for a future that reflects the best of what it means to be human. Through his novels, essays, and philosophical inquiries, Huxley challenges us to envision a world where technology serves humanity, not vice versa, ensuring his place as a thinker of unparalleled relevance in our contemporary world. Conclusion 
Aldous Huxley's legacy transcends his identity as a towering literary figure of the 20th century, positioning him as a visionary thinker whose insights continue to resonate with profound relevance in the modern era. His nuanced critique of societal trends, combined with a forward-looking perspective on the challenges and potentials of human advancement, marks Huxley not merely as a chronicler of his time, but as a guide for future generations navigating the complexities of an evolving world. Huxley's impact lies in his ability to weave together the threads of satire, philosophy, and speculative fiction into a tapestry that reflects the multifaceted nature of human existence. His works, from the dystopian foresight of Brave New World to the spiritual inquiries of the perennial philosophy and island, span a spectrum of human concerns, offering insights into the pursuit of knowledge, meaning, and authenticity amid the ceaseless march of progress. In today's digitally dominated and politically charged climate, Huxley's warnings against technological tyranny, the commodification of human experience, and the erosion of individuality are crucial reminders of the need to safeguard the essence of what makes us human. His exploration of alternative pathways, grounded in spirituality, human potential, and ecological sustainability, provides a beacon of hope and a source of inspiration for those seeking to balance technological advancement with human values. As a guide in the modern quest for understanding, Huxley challenges us to question the direction of our societal evolution, to critically engage with the tools and technologies at our disposal, and to strive for a future that harmonizes scientific progress with spiritual depth and ethical integrity. His legacy encourages a vigilant, informed, and compassionate approach to the dilemmas of the present and the uncertainties of the future, emphasizing the enduring importance of individual freedom, critical thinking, and the pursuit of a more equitable and enlightened society. Aldous Huxley's enduring impact as a literary giant and a prophetic voice in the wilderness of modernity underscores his role as an indispensable guide for those navigating the intricate labyrinth of contemporary life. In a world of increasing complexity, Huxley's work remains a vital touchstone for those searching for knowledge, meaning, and authenticity, affirming his position as one of the most influential and prescient minds of the 20th century and beyond. Thank you for your time today. Until next time, stay gruntled.